Police say the investigation snowballed after Area 5 detectives stopped this red van registered to Robin Gecht. Police had been searching for the 1975 Dodge van after a woman claimed that she had been picked up by a man in the vehicle who raped and mutilated her. That led to the arrest of Gecht, Edward Spritzer, and Andy Kokorilis. Authorities say the three are suspects in more than a dozen Chicago area slains. They have been cooperating to a degree, and uh, at least one of them has made a written statement. One of the men that has been charged. That's correct. Are you liberty to identify who that is? I won't do that now. At this no. stage of the game. Right. The arrest of the three men has touched off inquiries by area lawmen who are checking on possible links between the three and the unsolved murders of suburban women. The, uh, the common thread that seems to be going through the, uh, all the homicides that we're investigating is that the victims were uh, lone females at night and just uh, either abducted or brought into their car or van whatever vehicle they were using and uh, they were attacked and mutilated and the bodies were dumped in another, another area. DuPage County authorities are trying to determine if any of the three men might be implicated in several murders there, including the abduction and slaying of Lorraine Borowski of Elmhurst. The body of Thomas was found in an alley in the northern suburb four years ago, and the body of Clark, who was also stabbed, was found in Skokie in 1977. Of particular interest are the murders of Carla Aliota, pictured here, and Shuey Mock.